Being diabetic is not rare today, as half a billion people across the globe are suffering from some form of diabetes. But did you know that diabetes is a slowly progressing condition and it can be figured out with several different signs? Well, it's your good luck if you got to know the early signs of diabetes as they can be very unnoticeable but very detrimental at the same time. So this video is going to be a very clear explanation of top 9 signs of diabetes that you should never ignore. So let's get into the video. Number 1. Frequent Urination Frequent urination is the most common sign of being diabetic. This is because when blood glucose level rises and there is not much insulin to utilize that glucose, our kidneys tend to remove this extra amount of glucose through urine. Now you might think for a moment that it's okay or normal for our body to remove glucose through urine. But it's actually very detrimental for our kidneys. Normally, our kidneys don't let the glucose molecules pass to the glomerulus. But when our blood glucose level is high, our kidneys are forced to pass these large glucose molecules through urine. This can cause an abnormality in our kidney's anatomy, leading to severe consequences. Number 2. Extreme Thirst as we've already discussed, when our blood glucose is high, our kidneys tend to remove the extra glucose through urine. Now to remove this glucose, they need water. Just like you feel thirsty after having a protein-rich meal because your body needs extra amount of water to metabolize those protein molecules, same is the case with glucose. Your kidneys need more water to excrete more glucose. This can cause water shortage in body and ultimately result in a greater thirst. This thirst can be so intense sometimes that you'll feel your throat and tongue drying out. Number 3. Sudden Weight Loss If you've just lost some weight without doing any workout, don't be happy if you're experiencing the other symptoms as well. This sudden weight loss can be due to many underlying causes and diabetes is one of them. What happens is, you're eating normally, but your body is not taking up the nutrients that are released from the food. This is because there is not enough insulin. To make it simpler, assume your body cells, which are trillions in number, as one room. Now each cell is a room that is locked all the time and opens only when a key is used. Now for our body cells that are waiting for glucose, insulin is that key. In physiology, these locks are known as insulin receptors and keys are representing insulin molecules. So what happens is, when your body has no insulin, it won't be able to open the cells to feed them with glucose and you already know where that glucose goes, right? So when your body cells are not being fed and the glucose is not being utilized, you're likely to lose weight as your body cells are starving. You might also feel tired and exhausted due to this physiological process going on in your body. Number 4. Extreme Hunger do you often feel hungry? Well, this can be because of your emotional eating habits too, but sometimes it's not as simple as you think. If you're pre-diabetic, you can feel an urge to eat all the time as your body is low on glucose. Your body is not able to store this vital nutrient and your brain is telling you to eat more because it needs glucose. Later in this video, I'm going to tell you a very easy solution to tackle your hunger in a safer way if you are a diabetic or a pre-diabetic. Number 5. Vision Problems This might be surprising for you that on average, 25% patients with diabetes can lose their vision. Let me explain why this happens. But before that, if you are old and you think your vision has changed gradually and feeling difficulties to focus on near objects, that is totally normal and you don't need to worry. But the change in vision in case of diabetes is different than normal loss of vision or age-related loss of vision. In diabetes, change in vision is all of a sudden and you'll feel strain on your eyes if you try to focus on something. You might feel a cloudy vision sometimes. 
Interestingly, this can be a temporal situation. This means you'll be able to see normally in the morning but not during the daytime. This is just an example. There's no particular time when your vision will be disturbed. Now let me tell you why this happens. This is because an increased amount of glucose in the body causes the blood pressure to change in certain areas of the body. This also affects blood flow around our eyes, causing a change in vision for some time. This rising level of glucose can also damage optic nerves and affect photoreceptors in our eyes. These photoreceptors are responsible for regulation of inflammation. So when these photoreceptors are damaged, it can trigger inflammation in the optic nerves. This damage doesn't stop here. An increased blood flow can cause muscle tension and even leakage in the eye vessels. This is exactly when glucose molecules interrupt normal blood flow to your eyes. If you're diabetic, this is going to happen all over your body. But specifically in your eyes, it can result in the formation of new blood vessels by your body. Your body is doing so to protect your eyes from a complete loss of vision. But the thing is, these new blood vessels are not as efficient as old ones. And that's not the only issue with these new blood vessels. When these vessels are formed, they're obviously going to occupy some space around your eyes, causing your eye lens to enlarge. And you know that an enlarged lens causes blurry vision and sometimes double vision too. Now coming to the symptoms of diabetic eyes. If you are having margarine more frequently than ever before, and you're experiencing comparatively poor vision at night, this could be due to diabetic eyes. You might also feel colors fading or washing out and even blank areas in your vision field. If you're having these symptoms, don't ignore them as diabetic retinopathy is costly to treat. Number 6. Skin Problems Have you noticed brown scaly patches over your skin? Some people confuse them with aging spots. But if you're suspecting diabetes, you should know that these are different than age spots. These patches do not hurt or cause itchiness. They are most often seen over legs and arms and are harmless. However, they are an indication of starving skin cells and damaged blood vessels. So you need to control your blood glucose levels to avoid this condition. Number 7. Diabetic Blisters this is another condition that indicates diabetes. Diabetic blisters are also painless, but they are large and more noticeable than scaly patches. They often look like blisters and occur on toes, feet and forearms. They heal by themselves when blood sugar level is controlled. These conditions can also develop due to an interruption in normal blood flow and damaging effects of diabetes on blood vessels. Also, you can have thick skin under your feet and on your forearms. This dead layer of skin is accumulated because your skin is being deprived of nutrition from blood vessels. This vascular damage can also result in stiff joints. Number 8. Diabetic Stress As we have already discussed, a person with diabetes can have low energy levels. As a result of low glucose utilization by your body cells, you might feel extremely lethargic. But recent studies have also shown that diabetics can experience anxiety and confusion other than physical fatigue. However, if you're already a depressed person who is on antidepressants, you need to be more conscious of your diabetic state. A research recently done has stated that women who were taking antidepressants were 25% more likely to develop diabetes. Not only antidepressants, but high cortisol levels that are associated with stress can cause diabetes. Number 9. Slow Healing of Wounds You're lucky if your wounds heal quickly. But if it takes more than normal time, you should consider this as a sign of diabetes. When you are diabetic, your body's immune system gets weakened and becomes less efficient in physiological communication. This means inflammatory response is not quicker and you might experience slower wound healing. If you have a fungal infection on your toe for long, 
this might also be an indication of being diabetic. Now these were some signs of diabetes that you need to consider. But here are some effective strategies to prevent diabetes. Firstly, you need to have a healthy weight if you ever want to avoid diabetes. Being overweight can put you at a risk of developing many inflammatory diseases including diabetes. Studies show that people having large number of fat cells have more insulin resistance than those who fewer fat cells. Secondly, you need to change your diet pattern. If you're binge eating foods with refined sugars like breakfast cereals, you need to cut down your refined sugars as they have high glycemic load and they get into your blood quicker than natural sugars. Thirdly, cut down your dairy products. Recent studies have shown that milk can actually cause insulin deficiency in people with or without diabetes. It was found that milk protein has a similar structure like beta cells of insulin. When our body tries to digest large size milk protein, it also targets beta cells of insulin for their structural similarity. This results in an autoimmune reaction which causes insulin deficiency. However, this effect is observed in a period of 21 days. If you want to see the results of quitting dairy, you need to wait for at least 3 weeks. Number 4. Do regular workouts. Maintaining an appropriate physical activity is the best strategy for overcoming many chronic diseases. Studies show that regular aerobic workout controls diabetes by increasing insulin sensitivity. Lastly, if you've been smoking for a long time without any health effects, probably this is the time when you need to quit smoking. Researches show that people who smoke are 50% more likely to develop diabetes. Also, alcohol consumption can lead to increased risk of diabetes. In short, it's all about adapting healthy habits and keeping a record of your medical history. However, if you're above 45 and overweight individual, you need to visit your doctor as per recommendations of American Heart Association. I hope you're all clear about signs of diabetes and how to prevent diabetes with these simple interventions. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.